One of the most interesting panels in the window to restore was this one, which is panel 5B, and this shows people worshipping the beast. Um, because what we had in this panel before conservation was um, this bizarre, scaly, serpenty creature right in the middle of the panel, um, which we know was put in in the 1950s by the Milner White team. Um, this creature went against the iconography of the panel, which is people worshipping the beast. It comes after panel 5A to the left, which is um, the dragon giving power to the beast, and before um, panel 5C, which shows the beast attacking people. When we talked to our advisory group about this and they said, you know, maybe this creature wouldn't have been there, um, which was fine, it was an interesting observation. But what we found when we started doing the research was more evidence to support the fact that this creature should never have been there. Um, we have an account by James Tor from 1690, which describes one beast um, with people worshipping it. And then if we track the panel throughout history, um, we've got accounts and drawings from the 18th century, which just still show this one beast in the panel. Um, so we think that what happened is in the 1950s, the Dean at the time, Milner White, maybe just got his reading of this panel confused. Um, he thought it was the second beast coming up. So what he thought he was doing was correcting the iconography by putting this other creature in. But actually what he was doing was disturbing what we know to have been the original iconography. So what we ended up doing after a lot of talks with um, our historical experts was taking out this scaly creature that was in the middle. Now this creature was made up of glass, which Milner White had collected from various other places including other windows in the Minster and he just kind of bunged it in the middle um, and it, it didn't look right and it really drew the eye, it's very bright. It kind of took away from the original John Thornton glass so we had a few strands of evidence and kind of an aesthetic point of view um, which gave us, gave us the confidence to take it out. So that's what we did and I think it's a really good result. We've been able to correct the position of the beast's arm and then you can really see the scene, it really, it really reveals itself now.